If you need to take a break, take a break. If you want to just lay on your mat and breathe, you are doing yoga right. <laughs> we'll, we'll get this started. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get there. All right. So. Give me the high side after you do that. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> so so uh, tonight is Forrest Gump, released on July 6, 1994. I was 19 years old and stationed at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. So, I'm not that old. Not too bad, right? Bad. You're young. Man. Yeah, I'm young. <laughs> so, with that, we'll sit and start in a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like to you. Comfortable seat. You can close or soften your eyes. Maybe even exhale through the mouth a few times. Release the breath a little bit. Let it slow down. Let your day slow down. And once you feel like the breath has got to that spot where it's comfortable, and it's not going to really change too much. It's always going to change a little bit. But just notice where it is. Maybe notice what it took to get there. And then notice your body. Notice where the head went. The shoulders are relaxed, or are they up, or are they just back, or tense at all? Hands, just notice where you place them. Are they palms up or palms down? Were they gripping? Are they down at the sides? The feet, too, just notice if they're flexed, are they holding something, or are they more relaxed? And things could be in between, too, that's fine. And just notice the parts of the body that are feeling strong, flexible, and vibrant that may want to be challenged. And then the other parts that might need that little extra care and attention. We honor that information as we move through our practice. Coming back to your breath. Once again, just notice it. And then slowly bring your attention to it. Making the breath move in the body the way we want it to move. Those inhales, the belly comes in towards the spine. The top of the chest lifts. There's a slight pause at the top. And then exhaling back out from the chest to the belly, keeping the belly somewhat strong. A slight pause at the bottom. And then we repeat. Every inhale gets a little bit deeper. Every exhale, a little bit longer. Every round of breath, the belly, a little bit stronger. Start to bring some attention to the seat itself. So you might have already noticed the body kind of naturally starts to get a little tall with the inhales. But don't let yourself collapse on the exhales, but feel like you're kind of grounding into the seat with the length of the spine still going up. Eventually, finding that spot with your breath that is strong and focused, but comfortable and manageable. Your breath for your practice. If you should lose this breath at any moment in time, it might be time to take a break or back out of the pose. 
four more breaths. Open your eyes open. Then nice and slow with your next inhale. We'll inhale those arms up, lifting out of the way, spread the fingers, gaze with the hands. And exhale nice and slow, hands come through the heart side. Inhale the arms up, lifting out of the way, spread the fingers, gaze with the hands. Exhale, heart side. Inhale the arms up, lifting out of the way, spread the fingers, gaze at the hands. Exhale, take a twist to the left. Get spine nice and tall, lifting the crown of the head up on the inhales, and exhale, twisting. All right, nice and slow. Inhale the arms all the way back up the side. Exhale, take a twist in the arms direction. Tall spine, inhales, exhale, twisting, try to keep the shoulders as relaxed as possible. Good, nice and slow. Inhale the arms all the way back up. Exhale, drop that left hand down, take that right hand up and over. Inhale, reaching, exhale, sinking. And both, both sits bones grounded down. So if it comes up, not too far, it's back out. Good, nice and slow. Inhale the arms all the way up. Exhale, drop it on the other side. Inhale, reaching, exhale, sinking. Nice and slow. Inhale the arms all the way back up. Exhale, bring the palms together and then bring the elbows together as best you can. Now, if you want to get a little crazy with the cheese whiz and you want to bring the right arm underneath the left or eagle arms, you can do that too. But we're still just warming up. And then inhale, I just want you to start to arch the back and bring the arms a little bit back. It's not going to come back that far. And then inhale back to center. Inhale, back, good, arch the back. You notice my elbows are not even together, so it can be arched on that either. Exhale, center. If you have the right arm underneath the left, switch the arms around. Then inhale, up and back. Exhale, center. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, center. Release the arms and roll out the shoulders. So I, that's one of those poses. I just, I cannot do ankle arms. I can't, like it just, I look like a train wreck trying to, go ahead. And then we're gonna take the hands and interlace them behind the back. And then roll the shoulder blades together. So you're puffing the chest out and push the hands down. And if you have further to go, you start to keep the arms or hands away from the back and then tilt the head back, opening the chest up a little bit more. Good, nice and slow. Inhale the chin and chest back to the center. Exhale, release the arms. Bring the hands in front of you, palms flip towards away from you, and then push the palms out. You can drop the chin to the chest. You can stay right here. If it's safe for your spine, you can hollow out the belly and round the spine. Nice and slow. Inhale the arms up, head comes up. Exhale, release, roll over the ankles, plant the hands down, tabletop. And we'll move cats and cows here. On your own, take your time with it. 
move with your breath. Take as many or as little movements as you would like to take. <clears throat> take any additional movements you would like to take. So you can exaggerate the cat and cow coming all the way forward almost to an up dog. Back to almost a child pose. You can move the hips around in circles. Moving them in either direction. You can take the gaze over either shoulder. You can hold one pose for a few breaths. You can tuck the toes, get those back, stretch out the bottom of the feet. Whatever feels good to you. And when you are done, and you feel complete, sit the hips back and child pose. Child's pose here whenever you need it. So if it crosses the mind, please take it. A chance to exhale through the mouth, releasing the breath, to roll the wrists, to just relax. Now we inhale up to all fours. Take the right leg back, place the ball of the foot on the mat, and push to the right heel for the stretch. All right, I want to take that left leg, kick out with a kickstand, drop the right heel, open the right arm up, side plank variation. If you want to get a little crazy with the cheese whiz and lift the top leg, go for it. Triscuits and cheese whiz, you can grab the back foot. Triscuits, cheese whiz, and bacon. Levitation. Five, four, three, two, on one, exhale, nice and slow, table time. And then we'll take the left leg back, roll the foot on the mat, push through the left heel, give it a good stretch. And then you kick the right leg out with a kickstand, drop the left heel, open the left arm up. Side plank variation, other side. Cheese was on one, cheese was on the other. For five, four, three, two on one. Exhale nice and slow, tabletop. Setting up for our first down dog. Let's tuck those toes under. Lift the hips high and back, down dog. First down dog, so take a moment here. Pedal it out, walk it out, lift the leg, drop the leg. Roll forward, roll back, you can drop the heels from side to side. So Warner Brothers initially had the rights to Forrest Gump. And they didn't think the script would be practical. So they sold it to, I think it was Universal in the movie. I can't remember that. But they, they didn't actually sell it. They switched it with the movie Executive Decision. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad, bad, bad decision. Well, the Executive Decision wasn't bad, but it wasn't for him. Eventually, finding stillness in your dogs. Let's bend the knees, look forward, hop, step, walk, crawl, and turn the neck. Once there, inhale to your half, look nice, flat back. And then exhale, fold. Maybe grab off the elbows here and hang. Allow the front half of the body to be very heavy. Weight is in the balls of the feet, light in the heels. 
And just be thankful that John Travolta turned down the role of Forrest Gump. I can't imagine how that would have turned out. He was almost like a box of chocolates. <laughs> I can't even put it. I can't imagine. It'd be like Forrest Gump and Pulp Fiction. Yeah, of course, Forrest wow. Gump and Pulp Fiction. Could you imagine? They also asked Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray. Bill Murray might have been a little off. <laughs> Let's drop the hands to the mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Slight bend the knees. Swing the arms all the way up. When we exhale, bring the hands through to heart center. Tadasana, mountain pose. Close or soften your eyes. Brown down to lift up. Feel for your Tadasana. Feel strong and stable from the waist down, grounding into the plank of your, your mat. Lift it up through the crown of the head, so light in the top half of the body. The shoulders reconnect us to the ground by pushing down and away. Check with the breath. See if you can control the exhales. If you can't, let the breath go at any point. Good. Three more breaths. Well, let's plant the eyes open. We're going to inhale the arms up, bring them to a steeple grip. Too much on the shoulders, take the arms apart. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, center. Nice and slow. Exhale, dive on down, half sun in. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Slight bend in the knees. Swing the arms all the way up. Steeple grip at the top. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, dive on down, full sun end. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, take it back. High plank, shut it right to the dasana, if you would like. Ending in down dog. Three breaths. So the bench that Forrest Gump is sitting on is actually in Savannah, Georgia. Which if you've never been to Savannah, it's a beautiful city. They had to remove the bench because people were defacing it and taking pieces of it. So now it stands and sits in a museum in Savannah, Georgia. Let's bend the knees, look forward, hop, step, walk, crawl. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Slight bend the knees. Swing the arms all the way up. Steeple grip, we're we'll adding on. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, dive on down. Inhale, half lift, flat back once you arrive. Exhale, fold. Take the right leg, step all the way back to the back of the mat. Start with a low runner's lunge, and then ground the back heel. Front knees over the front ankle. We're going to swing ourselves up to a warrior two. So as you're ready, inhale yourself up, warrior two. Nice. Go ahead, head over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Flip the front palm, 
drop the back arm, reverse. Inhale back, warrior two. Exhale, front forearm, front thigh, side angle. Twist that chest towards the ceiling, back thigh turns down. Squeeze the core, inhale yourself up, warrior two. Flip the front palm, drop the back arm, reverse. Inhale back, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Drop that bottom arm as low as it'll go. Twist the chest towards the ceiling, back thigh turns down. Keeping the top half of the body just like it is, take that right hip back, straighten to the left leg. Triangle pose, trigonosana. So twisting the chest towards the ceiling, back thigh turns down. Bottom half of the body stays like it is, squeeze the core. Inhale yourself up, standing triangle. Flip the front palm, drop the back arm, reverse. Your standing triangle. Inhale back, standing triangle. Exhale, sink into the front knee, warrior two. One inhale. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, frame that front foot, front leg back, eyes plank, shutter on if you want. Ending in down dog. Three breaths. Bend the knees, look forward, hop, step, walk, walk, front of that. Inhale, half lift, fly back. Exhale, fold. Slight bend of the knees, swing the arms all the way up to that steeple grip. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, center. Nice and slow. Exhale, dive on down. Inhale, half the flat back onto your arm. Exhale, fold. Take that left leg. Step it all the way back to the back of that low runner's lunge. Knee over ankle. Drop the back heel. Squeeze the core. Inhale yourself up. Warrior two. Nice. Good. Head over shoulders. Shoulders over hips. Flip the front palm, drop the back arm, reverse. Inhale back, warrior two. Exhale, front forearm, front thigh, side angle. Switch that chest towards the ceiling, back thigh turns down, just a slight twist. Squeeze the core, inhale yourself up, warrior two. Nice. Flip the front palm, drop the back arm, reverse. Inhale back, warrior two. Exhale, side angle, extend that bottom arm as low as we go. Twist the chest, nice and slow. Top half of the body stays like it is. Take the left hip back, right arm, so right leg straightens. Twisting the chest towards the ceiling, back thigh turns down. Keeping the bottom half of the body like it is, squeeze the core, inhale yourself up, stay in triangle. Nice. Flip the front palm, drop the back arm, reverse your triangle. Inhale back, standing triangle. Exhale, sink into the front knee, warrior two. One inhale. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Bring that front foot. Front leg back, high plank. Shut around if you like. Ending in down low. Three rounds. On your third exhale, drop those knees, sink the hips back, chat those, release and relax. So in the book, uh, he actually does a lot more. In the book, Forrest Gump is much more cynical, but uh, one place he goes to the book and he doesn't go to the movie is outer space. <laughs> he actually becomes an astronaut because although he is simple, he is quite talented modern, which the movie did kind of portray. Which I thought was kind of cool. <coughs> so bless you. So in the book, he does go to outer space. And an astronaut. Yeah. And he also crashes the Exxon Valdez in the second book. <laughs> uh, they were going to make a second movie, 
Uh, it was supposed to come out around 2001, but 9-11 happened. So they kind of scrapped it. But uh, one of the scenes that I always thought would have been really cool to have that they were going to do in that movie, he was going to be in the backseat of the white Bronco with O.J. Simpson. Uh, that would have been interesting. Uh, I, would have, I think I would have liked to see that. All right, we're going to inhale up to all fours. Tuck the toes, just back it up, bend the knees. Bend the knees, look forward, hop, step, walk, crawl. Turn. Inhale, half, look nice flat back once you arrive. And then exhale, fold. Slight bend the knees. Swing the arms all the way up. On the exhale, hands come through to heart center. Tadasana, mountain pose. Close or soften your eyes. Ground down to lift up. Find the exhales. So the scene where he receives his medal of honor from LBJ is actual footage of LBJ awarding a medal of honor with Tom Hanks superposed over the individual. The thing that was really cool about that whole scene is that when they introduced him, they had a show reporter outside, like the president's here. That guy that's a reporter was literally just a tourist. They took off the street and made him say those lines. <laughs> I don't know why. I, 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 when I was reading about it, I didn't say why they just took this reporter, this guy. Maybe the other guy didn't show up or something, but yeah. That's that guy's claim to fame. Yeah. Three breaths here. Let's blink the eyes open. Inhale the arms up, simple grip at the top. Exhale to the left. Inhale center. Exhale to the right. Inhale center. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, center. On the exhale, weight into the heels, sink the hips back, chair pose. You can toss in any arm variation you want. Just lift the chest, sink the hips, weight in the heels. Try to squeeze the core. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Land the hands, take it back, high plank. Shutter under the dasana if you want. And then in down dog. Three breaths. I'm going to take the right leg up, high and long. And exhale, step that foot in between the hands for a low runner's lunge. And squeeze the core. Inhale yourself up. High runner's lunge. Hands in the overhead, then you get heart attack. Head over shoulders, shoulders over hips, and over ankle. Inhale, lift the chest. And the exhale, you're going to take a twist over the right leg. Nice. Nice and slow. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist over the right leg. Always get one. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale, back to center one last time. Exhale, twist over the right leg. Inhale, back to center. On the exhale, hands come to heart center straight into that front leg. And then turn all the toes towards the long edge of the mat. Yep. Good. And then nice and slow, exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Hang here. Let the head go. You can bring movement to this, whatever you like. So Tom Hanks is not a runner. He actually does not like to run at all. Which, of course, Forrest Gump does a lot in this movie. So he thinks he's also a very awkward runner. So they brought in Jim Hanks, his brother, who looks a lot like him, and he does most of the running scenes. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take that right hand and place it underneath the nose. And then inhale, come on, just like a half lift of that right hand underneath the nose. And on the exhale, take the left hand and twist it up. You can also bring it to the small of the back. So you a nice long spine here. Good. And exhale, nice and slow. Bring that left hand down where the right hand is and replace it. Inhale, lengthen the spine again. And exhale, open the right arm. Bring that right hand to the small of the back. Good. Next, nice exhale. Bring that right hand down. Turn those right toes towards the front of the mat again. Start walking the hands. So you're framing that right foot so you're in a low runner's lunge. Squeeze the core. Inhale yourself up. High runner's lunge. Good. Next exhale, we're going to bring our hands to heart center. Inhale, lift the chest into the hands. Exhale, start to lean forward. Come to your warrior three. Whatever variation you're doing this morning, this morning, this evening. Good. Try to feel any light here. Just like the Tadasana, push that lifted heel back. Crown of the head reaches forward for five, four, three, two. Nice and slow. You're going to bring the upper body up. Bring that left leg to the inside, left leg yeah, to the inside of the right tree pose. Yay! Oh, I like this thing. Just lift up. Everything else is cheese whiz. We fall out, we fall out. No, it's 3,000 years old. We're not going to break it here today. Good. For five, four, three, Two on one, exhale, hands come through to heart center. Inhale the left knee forward, hold. Start to bend into the right knee, and when you're ready, plant the left foot down. Chair pose. Oh, you're just a jerk, man. I don't like you at all. What's your problem? Good, lift the chest, sink the hips. Exhale, forward, hold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant the hands. Take it back, high plank. Shut around with the nasana, if you plank. And then you down dog. Three breaths. So when Forrest Dump gets on the school bus the first time, you may notice there's a the girl says, you can't see Kia. She's wearing a flag dress. She's Tom Hanks' daughter. <laughs> Let's take the left leg up, high and long. And on the exhale, step that foot in between the hands. Low runner's lunge. Good. Find your low lunge and then squeeze the core. Inhale yourself up. High runner's lunge. Good. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, twist over the left leg. Nice. Happy deep. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist over the left leg. Inhale, back to center. Last one. Exhale, twist over the left leg. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, straighten to the front leg. Drop the back heel, turn all the toes to the long edge of the mat. And then on the exhale again, wide-legged forward fold. Hang here for a moment. Maybe shake the head loose. So Ice Cube and um, Dave Chappelle were offered the role of Bubba. Both didn't take it. And that big lip Bubba has is actually a prosthetic. It's not his real lip. 
And there really is a bubble gum shrunk shrimp. For real. Yeah. What was that before or after the movie? I think it was after the movie, though. Didn't specify on the sites I was looking at, but I think it was after. All right, we're going to inhale to a half lift, nice flat back. Now, on the exhale, I want you to bring the hands to the hips and hold. Reach the crown of the head forward, hips go back. If this becomes too much, you can drop the hands back down. If you'd like to get a little crazy with the cheese whiz, you can take the arms out to the sides. Triscuits and cheese whiz, reach the arms forward. Chris gets cheese whiz and bacon, lift the feet. <laughs> Good for five, four, three, two on one. Exhale, plant the hands down. Turn the left toes towards the front of the mat and walk the hands to frame the front foot coming into a low runner's lunge again. Good. When you're ready, squeeze the core. Inhale yourself up, high runner's lunge. Good. Exhale, hands come through the heart center. Inhale, lift the chest. And you exhale, hinge at the hips. Come forward to your warrior three. Doesn't have to be pretty. Doesn't have to be graceful. Think length. For five, four, three, two, on one, nice and slow. Bring the upper body up and bring that right foot to the inside of the left leg. If it hits the mat 55 times, no worries. Any arm variation you want, lift that foot as high on the leg as you like. Just feel long and tall. For five, four, three, Two on one, exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale the right knee forward, hold, sink into the left knee, and then when you're ready, plant it down, chair pose. Again? <laughs> Good. Lift the chest, sink the hips. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, take it back, up plank. Shut around with the Nasana if you want. And knee and down dog. Three rocks. Third exhale, drop those knees. Sink the hips back. Child pose. Release some relax. Well done. So the line where he says, my name's Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. Was added by Tom Hanks. And the director liked it so much, he kept it. You'll also notice that every time there's a time jump where they show like Forrest in the next kind of period of his life, he's always wearing a blue plaid shirt. And they are always buttoned all the way to the top except for one scene. And the, the one scene where he brings food to Jenny when she's sick and in bed, his top button is on top. Nice and slow, and inhale to all the fours. Tuck the toes, it's back up, down, up. Ladies and gentlemen, you have reached your final down, up. Why am I taking so fast? Bend the knees, look forward, I'll make sure the seats. They're really seated forward fold. Doing a lot of these lately, I found that they are helping me with my hamstrings, so I'm hoping they can help other people. So same thing as a lot of the other. So start with the head over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips. Nice tall slice. Inhale, lifting the crown of the head up. 
keep that strong. We nail the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, come forward, hands land where they land. Try to keep a flat back as best you can. So it might look round because your shoulders are rounding forward. The spine is pretty much flat. Now, if it's safe for you to round your spine and you want to go further, go for it. But regardless, if you come forward a half millimeter or you fold in half, both are forward. Good, nice and slow. Inhale, walk your back up. And then maybe bring a block with you as you roll right onto the back. Yay. Maybe exhale through the mouth a couple times here. Let the breath start to slow. We're doing our cool down, so allow yourself to cool down. Try to make the exhale a little bit longer than the inhale. You can do that by counting or by feet. And nice and slow. And inhale the arms up overhead. Take a nice long stretch. Point and flex the feet, arch the back, open and close the hands, roll the wrists. Exhale, bring the knees into the chest and squeeze. Rock side to side, massage the lower back. And we're going to keep the right knee into the chest. Extend the left leg nice and long. Keep the left leg engaged. So it's on the mat. So just inhale, you push the left heel forward. Exhale, bring the right knee in. So the second book was called Bubba and Company. Once again, it never made the movies. But yeah, he was supposed to crash the Exxon Valdez. He was going to be part of the Iran Contra scandal, uh, the OJ thing. There's something else to up there. It was pretty good. It was cool. He was going to be involved in a lot of it. Oh, he was going to fight for the Gulf War. Nice and slow, pick up the left leg, and then bring the left knee into the chest of the squeeze, rock side to side. Keeping the left knee into the chest, extend the right leg nice and long. Push the right heel forward on the inhales. Exhale, bring the left knee in. Anything on Robin right? Yes, I was just actually so Robin right. Uh, he plays Jenny, obviously. Uh, one thing about her was that uh, the whole scene where she's playing guitar on the stage with no clothes on, it's only a small sequence of events, but it took 24 straight hours to, to film for some reason. And she had a miserable cold the whole time. So it was, <laughs> it was really tough on her to, to film that. The next inhale, lift the right leg up and bring it in. Up. Squeeze. Rock side to side. And then we're going to plant the feet down on the mat. Feet and knees come together. And open the knees up for super bar balance. So, of course, Jenny, well, right at the end, comes back, of course. And um, she tells her that she's sick and she has a virus and they don't know what it is and they can't help. So, a lot of people thought that meant AIDS because uh, it takes place in the early 80s, and uh, a lot of people thought that she had she died from AIDS. Uh, but in the second book, it's brought out that it wasn't. It was actually hepatitis C, which uh, the doc, I guess the medical, I didn't know it was about hepatitis C, but I guess the medical community knew about it for since like the 50s, but they couldn't, they kept bumbling what it was, if you will, and they didn't find a reasonable. And effective treatment in uh, hepatitis C until 1989. Yeah, so 
That is what she dies of, as I can see from her drug use. Once the inhale, the knees back to the center. And on the exhale, drop the knees to the right. Arms come up like a T. Stack that or take that right hip underneath the left as best you can. Gaze over the left shoulder, try to keep the shoulder blade on the mat. Hold out one. And so somebody asked about Tom Hanks one time, have you ever ever seen where he just cried uncontrollably? And he did mention a scene in Forrest Gump when uh, Lieutenant Dan uh, comes to his wedding as Forrest Gump. And he's got magic legs and he's, he's engaged. And he said, that just broke him down. Of course, Gary Sinise, who played Lieutenant Dan. Um, with the, after that movie, he got very involved in supporting troops and actually has a band called the Lieutenant Dan uh, 10th band band, and they go around and play uh, in USO shows. And he uh, was also a recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom for his efforts in supporting troops. During the movie, he also wears a necklace, which is a, uh, a religious charm. His, I think it was his brother, or might have been his uncle, that actually wore, he actually wore it during Vietnam in 1967. Nice and slow, going to inhale the knees back to center. And exhale and rock them on over the other side. And the gaze over the right shoulder, try to keep the shoulder blades on the mat as best you can. Try to bring that left shoulder, the left hip underneath the right. So in Forrest, well, no, sorry, Forrest. So when Tom Hanks agreed to do the film, we uh, read it after only reading the script for an hour and a half. The only, his only stipulation was that uh, it had to be historically accurate. And he did request that Forrest had less of a southern accent. But the director disagreed. So Tom Hanks apparently had a lot of trouble mimicking a southern accent. But the little boy who plays young Forrest, that's his actual accent. So he actually worked with the little boy to get the accent from the first time. Is that little boy in Twelve Monkeys? I don't think so. He wasn't in a different film. I don't know what else. I can't remember what it was. He stopped acting after uh, 2001. But he was awarded several young actors Of course, the Forrest Gump Jr. is the child that also played in The Sixth Sense and AI. Let's inhale the knees back to center. And exhale, hug them into the chest, squeeze, rock side to side, massage the back. So when Forrest Jr. played that role, uh, of course, the movie was called Forrest Gump, and his role was named Forrest Gump, obviously. And uh, when Tom Hanks was in the, and the movie were nominated for Oscars, you know, he was four years old, he thought it was him. <laughs> so, the exhale, drop the feet to the mat, knees apart, we're gonna set up for a supported bridge or any kind of bridge you would like to get. So I'm gonna take my block, choose what setting, lift the hips up, slide the block or whatever you have underneath the tailbone. You can roll up your mat, you can just hold bridge. You can just lift the legs up and make it bring them, bring them, try to bring them back behind you. You can just a little bit back and match. And you can stay right here. This is a great pose. If you'd like to take a different variation, you can maybe walk the feet forward on the mat in your mouth, go for it. You can take your arms overhead. You can bring your knees into the chest. You can extend the legs up towards the ceiling. 
You could do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You can make something up and give it an animal name later on. Whatever you need, go with it. So, of course, Sally Field played Forrest's mom. She's only about 10 years older than Tom Hanks. They did a pretty good job making her look older. Oh, yeah, this, this was a cool fact, too. It's uncredited. Uh, so, of course, young Forrest meets Elvis Presley before he's Elvis Presley. And uh, so you never really see the face of Elvis, you just kind of see the character. Uh, that character did not voice uh, 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 Elvis. It was uh, Jerry, Jerry Clark, uh, Kurt Russell. Uh, Kurt Russell did the voice of Elvis, but it wasn't uncredited, so it's not, it's not uncredited. It's Kurt Russell. Uh, 20 seconds here. Nice and slow as you are ready. Absolutely no rush. Start to bring yourself on out. Once you reach the max, take any final pose you would like to take. So lengthening, shortening, have baby twists. Some other last tidbits. Uh, when he's in the uh, hospital recovering from his war wounds, and he starts to learn how to play ping pong, and the soldier tells him to never take your eye off the ball. Every scene where he's playing ping pong from then on out, he never blinks. And he actually didn't play ping pong. The, ping, the ball in the ping pong terms were all CGI. So they actually brought the ball to the, the power. And then every picture that he's taking, Forrest Gump is taking a picture. I, I, I noticed from right from the beginning of the first one, I think most people did this. He's always had his eyes closed in every picture that is taken of Forrest Gump. And of course, the, one of the final scenes is when uh, he's talking to Jenny at her gravesite, and he's walking away, and all the birds fly away, which is, of course, referencing to when she was a young girl, and she was praying to God to make her a few birds so she could fly far, far away, symbolizing that her soul is at rest. And as you are ready, and you feel complete, so they have for your final less than three four pose of Shavasana. So the only requirement for Shavasana is that you are comfortable. That is it. At any point, if you become uncomfortable, you have permission to change it. So wherever you are, whatever it looks like, give yourself a few exhales from that. Release the breath, let it go. Release the muscles and the bones to become heavy and soft. And 
and then release them on. Let it wander, let it drift, and give yourself permission to rest. farther backward you can look, the farther forward you are likely to see Winston Churchill. Notice your breath move your body. Notice those subtle little movements of the belly and the chest. Each inhale and each exhale. Notice how the movement's a little bit different each time. And gradually. You become more aware of those subtle little movements. Allow that awareness to roll through the rest of the body. All the way down to the hands and the feet. And maybe you start to find small additional movements. Gradually, making those movements ever so larger. The wrists and the ankles. Knees and elbows. Maybe rock the head from side to side. Before giving yourself any kind of stretchy that it feels good to you. Follow it up with a hug or a squeeze, something comforting to you. And then as you are ready, 
finding yourself on either your right or your left side, which one actress you look at? Sealing in your practice, thanking yourself for taking this time to take care of you. Because if we can't take care of ourselves, we can't take care of anybody else. As you are ready, bring yourself up to a comfortable seated position. The tall spine. Hands in front of center, eyes with a soft core closed. Let the thumbs rest at the center of the chest. Feel the rise and fall of the chest with the breath. Help remind us the breath is there for us, even off the mat. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. While I have breath, I have hope. We open our arms and say, Namaste. Namaste. Remember, life's like a bottle of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And if you do it once.